Hey guys, it's Cece Devereaux and I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I get asked a lot or people are concerned with when they are questioning whether or not to get locks and that is the ugly stage. Like, yeah, I'm so scared of the ugly stage and I don't want to have to worry about looking a mess and I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I don't want to be ugly. Let me stop you right there. So before starting my lock journey, I'm not gonna lie, I did join the, oh my gosh, what am I gonna look like? Am I gonna have an ugly stage club? I wasn't too concerned with the length of the locks being short because I've rocked short hair for so long in so many different ways that I'm, I'm quite comfortable with my hair being short. However, I've never rocked short locks before, so I wasn't quite sure how I would look. But you know what? The reason why I decided to get locks, one of the reasons was because I wanted to feel comfortable in my skin without any additions. I didn't want to have to rely on, and this is no shade, but I didn't want to have to rely on weaves. I was tired of feeling like I needed a relaxer. I just wanted to be comfortable as myself. So after extensive research on YouTube and reading a whole bunch of blogs and going online and reading up as much as I could about all things that are locks, I decided to just dive in, just go ahead and do it and just not worry about what's on the other side. Just go for it. And that's what I did. Now, when I started my locks, my hair was extremely short. Because I only grew it out for a few months from a very short fade. At that time, I did not feel as glamorous as I have previously had with my short relaxed hair or a weave or a sew in. It just wasn't as glamorous for me but I did not feel ugly I didn't feel ugly because there is no ugly stage there's no ugly stage it is completely mental seriously if they say beauty isn't be the eye of the beholder all you have to do is behold yourself as beautiful right <laughs> since I was so determined to do it in the first place I was able to psych myself out during the early stages of having my locks. I was able to exude confidence because I was confident in my decision. You can always do things to try to help build your confidence. You could do things such as try new accessories. You could jazz up your outfits a bit more than you, you normally would if you don't already. Or you can do a whole selfie shoot, girl catch them angles. <laughs> you know get comfortable with yourself find the beauty that's there you know what I mean sometimes it's just a new style that takes some getting used to no matter what it is just because we're not used to seeing that person so it may just take you a few moments to get used to the person the new person looking back at you but it will come you can also if you don't already subscribe to a bunch of people in the lock community whether they're brand new to the game or they're ogs to this i would follow all kinds of people because the people that are new to locks may share those same issues that you're either concerned with experiencing or that you are experiencing now and they may be able to give you tips you may just be able to feel comfort in knowing that you're not the only one. And then with the OGs, a lot of them have shared their stories and ways that they dealt with the early stage of locks. So they may have some tips for you as well. And while you're subscribing, you should go on and you should subscribe. Go ahead and do that girl, plug. You could also try styling your locks. I would do gentle styling, however, you can use bobby pins, you can use elastic bands, or you can ask your stylist. I know there's a loctician on Instagram. His name is Locks by Low Kilo. Yeah, Locks by Low Kilo. 
he styles his day one newly locked clients, some of them, and it looks bomb. So maybe, you know, you could do the same thing. You don't have to just have your hair all over the place if you don't want to. I did, I loved it, but you don't have to. <laughs> no matter what your decision is, if your self-esteem takes a plunge and you just don't see it recovering and you just feel really bad about yourself and you just can't get over it, girl, go ahead, comb them out, pick them out, cut them out, don't worry about it. You can always revisit locks or installing your locks after maybe your hair has grown to a length that you're more comfortable with or you may want a different grid pattern or a different way of starting them. Whatever would make you feel more comfortable, but do not feel as though you're stuck. There are so many things you can do in order to feel confident, comfortable, and good about the decision that you made to lock your hair. If you have any tips regarding how someone can get through the early stages, because that's what I'm gonna call it, because it's not ugly, the early stages of locks, please leave it down in the description below. Also, if you know someone that's dealing with this right now or is really hesitant about getting locks because of that, go ahead and share this video with them because I'm trying to tell y'all, it's okay. It's not ugly. It's not. Until the next vid, bye good people. How about that ugly? <laughs> Ooh, girl, I'm tired now, all that talking. Good.